Turkey's state-run Anadolu news agency says police have detained a man who fired shots into the air outside the U.S. embassy in Ankara. The man reportedly fired eight to nine shots into the air from a shotgun hidden in his coat. This comes hours after the Russian ambassador to Turkey was shot dead in the capital by an off-duty policeman. Ambassador Andrei Kalov was shot while speaking at an art gallery in Germany. A truck plowed into a crowded Christmas market in Berlin, killing at least 12 people and injuring dozens more. And in Switzerland, a man stormed a Zurich mosque and opened fire, injuring three people. The attack took place in Ankara at the Contemporary Art Gallery as the Russian ambassador Andrei Karlov was delivering a speech. He was shot from behind by a lone gunman. We have chosen not to show the exact moment the shots were fired. The first details about the gunman were given by the Turkish interior minister. <laughs> The attacker was born in 1994 in Aydin, Turkey. He registered at Manisa, graduated from Suke Anatolian High School, and reached to Ansal Police Academy and Mulut Mut Altintash, had been working at Ankara riot police for two and a half years. Following the gunshots, the gunman shouted out, God is great, and don't forget Aleppo, don't forget Syria. Shortly after, Turkish special forces killed the attacker. Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan talked on the phone with Russian President Vladimir Putin and they pledged to cooperate. The Russian authorities said it's better to join the ongoing investigation with their officials and we said there isn't any problem from our side to help out with this investigation. Putin called the attack provocative. The attack on the Russian ambassador comes one day before the foreign ministers of Russia, Turkey and Iran are meeting in Moscow to discuss the latest evacuation efforts in Aleppo, Syria. Russian President Putin said this attack was aimed at undermining the relationship between Moscow and Ankara. He added the only response to the murder is to step up the fight against terror. Mikhail Bardavid at the Turkish-Syrian border.